Today I'm going to talk about anchors and what anchor I use most when I'm on the river. This is what I call an old school river anchor. These anchors have been in existence for years, I'd imagine. The cat man, the, the cat fisherman, there's not a whole lot of products out there for him, so he has to kind of come up with his own in, innovative uh, products, so to speak, and the anchor has always been one of them. You know, nobody wants to cut an anchor rope, and, that, and that's the reason that, that this is built the way it is. Uh, we've got two features on it uh, that allows you to, to get your anchor back 95% of the time. Uh, the first way to hook it is just through the, the top loop, and you tie a couple simple knots. This is the way I do it. There may be a, a more correct way out there. I don't know, but I'll, I'll do a couple overhand knots, and then I will take on the tag end and make another knot and cinch it down so that it cannot ever slip and uh, a lot of times no, and I also put some black tape around it. I'll just tape all this up with black tape. Uh, you can put a chain here if you wanted to. Uh, you can run a chain from say here up to here and tie onto this if you like. And what you're going to do when you get stuck, you pull and the, the force of the motor, not the force of the current, but the force of the motor will pull and bend this tine out of it. You'll get your anchor back, you'll come back when it's, and bend it back. You'll just simply push it down and you can bend it back any which way you want. So it'll grab again. Uh, here's another feature on the, on the monster anchor is this eyelet down here on the bottom. Now what you do with it is have a split link, a two foot piece of chain we're going to put the split link, split link on down at the bottom. Follow the chain on the split link, and then we're going to squeeze it together, making a a good connection. This is the uh, a different way to to do this. Now that you've got your chain attached to the bottom portion of this, we'll use a split tie. The split tie will be attached up at the top here. And it's just not any split tie. You've got to get split ties that are like rated for hundreds of pounds of torque. Uh, and sometimes you may have to use a couple of them. But the idea behind this one is when you throw it and it snags, you throw it in into the deep and it snags on something if you cannot retrieve your anchor just by pulling it straight out and you'll see in my description you'll move the, the boat backwards and the force of this chain as you're coming back will actually break under the force of your boat like that. and then it brings it straight out the way it came Therefore, giving you your chance to get your anchor back instead of having to cut your anchor rope. Okay, guys, that's the two ways you can in, uh, install your rope and use your monster anchor in the river. Uh, they'll work in the lakes, too. They'll dig in the mud. They've got two inches of tines. They'll dig in the mud. Uh, but this is more of a, a rocky, hangy, gravel-type anchor.